everyone, it's Monday afternoon. I wasn't going to do a weekly vlog this week because I thought, what's going to happen this week that I didn't happen last week? Probably not a lot, so let's see. But I thought, hey, what the hell? It's actually Monday afternoon. I finished my shift and I've been downstairs with Jennifer and we've been jumping and playing and having a laugh. Watching turtles and see BBs and she's just told me she wanted to lie down. She literally just walked up to her travel cot, which is her playpen most of the time. And we put her in there when we're cooking and doing things. We don't want her hurting herself on... She walked up to her and she went in there and I went, you want to go in there? And she went, yeah. So you want to lie down? Yeah. So I put her in and got her blanket and her cushion and a cuddly dolphin and settled her down for a little nap if she wants one. And I thought I'd come upstairs and read a bit of a book and uh, just chill out. So I can't see a lot being happening this week. It's, it's horrible today. So I didn't go down to my mum's like I would normally. And I've got to go and pack some orders later. So after dinner, I'll take you to the shed with me. We'll probably be eating indoors today somehow because it's just very, very wet. So I just come out and uh, do a bit of colouring, have a little rest while she's having a nap. Paul's still working at the moment. So I'll check in with you a bit later. Hmm. It's not very nice. I don't know if you can hear the rain. You certainly can't see it. I'm up here at the shed to pull a couple of orders. Yeah. Get them done, get them sent out tomorrow. A bit tired. But I'm okay. Yeah, let's get these done. Um, and then I've got to try to do some photos later after I've had a shower. Okay, packed those three orders. That was fun because it was really hammering down a minute ago. It seems to have eased off a bit. So I'll be all right to go back down to the house now. It was really hammering. You could really hear it in here, obviously, because it's a tin roof. Um, but I love my shed. It's... Uh, Really nicely laid out. I do need to sort some stuff out. I've got a lot of stuff at the back I need to go for. I've got some board games and this um, set of six jigsaw puzzles. I think it's six in one box. I need to check through and see if they're all there and some cameras. I still got plenty to be going on with. I need to crack on and get on with it. It's just hard when you're doing um, normal work, lifting after a kid, and running a eBay ch <laughs> a YouTube channel and doing eBay. Kind of gets you for a while, so. But then, I'm not in it to make huge amounts of money at this time. I'm just doing it as a side to make a little bit of extra cash. And that reminds me, I must do my tax return. So, I've just had a shower. I was really hot and sweaty, so now I feel great. Um, and I'm upstairs listening to Judy on my CD player, which is great, from the one and only CD selection. I've got another Judy CD that's um, fairly new that's come. That's entertainment. I wanted it for a while. I'd like it on vinyl, but I don't often get a chance to listen to the vinyl. So I'm going to bring that up and when I come up in a bit I'm going to do some colouring and listen to Judy rather than watch um, YouTube. To be honest I haven't even got the fire stick plugged in at the moment. The DVD player is still plugged in from the, my video, um, my DVD film night the other night. So Paul's watching the football. I could watch a film but I'm going to go down and keep him company for a bit. He'll probably go to bed soon anyway. I'll show you how I'm getting on with my Crayola picture, which is what I plan on colouring tonight. I want to try and finish it off, or get close to it. There's a lot to do yet. Um, I've got all the daisies in her hair to do, the background, stem of the daisy, and her hair. Did I say her hair? I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, work was okay today. It was a breeze because Jennifer was a diamond she was good as gold all day she wanted to sit in her high chair and have her breakfast which is fine and then we took her out and put the thing and then she wanted to sit back up there again to watch tv she doesn't normally want to do that she normally hates it she did have a bit of a mare this afternoon after having a sleep she woke up screaming and then i was like do you want to come out no and she wouldn't let me touch her um and i took her out um eventually got her out and then she ran straight back to it and wanted to go back in put her back in um, and then she calmed down just as we bring out dinner. I think she was probably hungry. And uh, she's been as good as gold since. She's in bed now. And um, I'll check on her later before I go to sleep. Make sure she's okay. She will be. I'm sure she'll wake me up at some point during the evening. Um, I'm going to have a nice easy night tonight. Because this bedroom's a mess. In the room where I photograph my stuff. Uh, my eBay stuff. So I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up when I come up. Uh, to try and get it a bit clearer. I'm hoping I've got one bag of stock left to photograph that I'm going to try and get it all done in a couple of days so that I can get the bookcase up here so I can move the non-Hollywood books off of this bookcase behind me this one here 
by the curtain uh, so I can move the books that are in front of me on there and I can get it all sort of organised and then I can do my um, film bookshelf tour so anything to do with music and television will be moved away unless of course it's something like related to Judy Garland like the good Judy Garland show that's a bit different or if it's a book about Elvis films I don't think I've got one but if I did that would stay on the film shelf I do have books about Elvis they'll just be going on to the other entertainment um, just so I can try and get all the Hollywood related stuff and film related stuff together so I'm looking forward to that so yeah right I am going to take some washing downstairs and get it in the machine ready like Judy Garland. Go lucky, they say that, I'm plucky. Right, she's getting on, it's about 10 to 10. I've just popped in to see um, Jen and she's still awake. She's fine. Um, I finished my Cary Grant book and I'm gonna read this. I have started this book on May West but I haven't finished it yet. Um, and I plan on doing a little bit of colouring. I'll just get the book and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, this is what I'm working on. This is from Colouring Heaven's Woodland Fairies. And this is my Crayola picture. So you see I've got the background to do the daisies, her wings, the sky and her hair and the stem of the daisy. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of that tonight. I think it's looking quite good. Yep. So I'm going to do that now, listen to a bit of Judy Garland in bed and that's it for me for tonight. It's Tuesday tomorrow. I hope the weather's better because I've got orders to post. I've had another sale come in, so I'll pick that one in the morning before I start work. I might ring Dale about booking an appointment. We'll get my hair done. I mean, I've not missed saving the money, but I really love having my hair done. I just don't know. I'll try wearing a mask tomorrow when I go down the shop and see how I get on because I know that they want you to wear them, which is understandable. They've got to protect their staff. I totally get that. Um, but wearing it for three hours is a long time but I'll, I'll see i'll see see how i get on with it tomorrow anyway so all right and crack on i'm gonna have to have a look at amazon i need to order something from paul um and other than that i'll see you on tuesday morning come here Ooh, fun. give me a hand hold on I'll wait for the fan to go all right uh oh, cool. It's all right, we'll wait for the nice fan. There we go. The nice fan man that has come to me. As soon as you reach the grass, off she goes with him. <laughs> oh, she loves her granddad. Still a bit cloudy. It's not too bad though. A bit of a wind. It's warm, but it's not hot. It's not raining, which is something new. They decided to cut across the little grass bit here. Comes. Morning all, it's Wednesday morning. I didn't wrap up last night because I couldn't find the camera. I'd put it in the drawer and forgot. Because that's how dull I am sometimes. Um, yeah, I'm sitting here. I've had my breakfast. I'm just having a cup of tea. I'm um, watching a bit of garage flips or shed flips on YouTube. One of my favourite reselling channels. I haven't watched them for a while because I've been watching other stuff. But I uh, thought I'd find watch him this morning. So he does some interesting stuff in the States. So it'd be more useful for me to watch the people in the UK. And I do occasionally. But I just like him. I think he's a nice guy. So I'm going to get ready for work in a bit. And see what happens. Jennifer woke up at 10 to 6 I think it was. But she's gone back to sleep. She wanted to cuddle. And that's it really, yeah, another day, another dollar. I don't know what we're going to do today. Like I said, we went to Mum and Dad's yesterday, but it looks pretty great today, so I might have to find something to do in the house. Hmm, think about that. Okay, it's Wednesday night. I haven't vlogged much today, I've got to be honest. Like I said, this week's going to be a really short vlog. <laughs> haven't done much, to be honest. Um, 
Jennifer was playing up a bit today. She's, you know, she's being a typical two-year-old. There's nothing wrong with it at all. She's a good girl. And pulling at me and pulling my hair and jumping on me and throwing things and smack me in the eye a couple of times. She doesn't mean it. It's not it's just an accident flying, flying around around. So I've just been chilling, done some colouring. I did get excuse me, some films. I'm not going to watch them tonight, but I did get some films. And they're all Cary Grant ones. And I've got a few Cary Grant ones already, but I didn't have these ones. And these ones were $1.99 plus uh, two ninety nine shipping. So there was four of them all together. So I got an affair to remember. Penny Serenade. To Catch a Thief. And here's Girl Friday. So next time uh, Paul has one of his Zoom drink buddy meetings, which I think is next week, I will watch a couple of these. I was thinking about watching one tonight, but I just don't think I can concentrate for the length of a film. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put these to one side for now. I'll pop them up there. Out the way. I'm going to watch some YouTube and... Oh, I forgot to bring up that. I am going to, um, that's done. I've just got to erase something from it, but the race is downstairs. I'm going to finish my Christmas wreath from the Jade Summer Christmas Canon Book Volume 3, because it's Christmas in July. Um, I haven't done much on it, but I'm going to have a go tonight. Um, I've left my glitter gel pens downstairs, so I'm going to use my, my big bag. I'm going to use my Arteza ones, which are actually up here, so I'm going to use those ones tonight. I'm so tired, it's terrible. So I'm going to watch some YouTube and just chill out. Tomorrow I'll hopefully, as long as the weather stays pretty decent, nip down to my mum and dad's with Jennifer, have a good walk. Um, another reason I haven't done much today is I've got bad back um it twanged yesterday i think it's disc and i've had a pain down my leg and my right leg as well today so it's been really hard especially dealing with jennifer and that as well so i haven't done any ebay i did have a sale today so i will get back to it but like i said as long as i make my fees i'm not too worried at the moment i will keep topping it up we have booked a six night break away in Weymouth area, down in Dorset, for October. Fingers crossed. The thing is, we can cancel right up to the 28th of September at 3 pm and get all our money back. So that's really cool. So, fingers crossed, we'll be going away for uh, like six nights in October. We go on a Saturday, come back on a Friday, which gives us Saturday and Sunday to get everything clean and ready for work on Monday. So, fingers crossed that will be happening soon I can't wait hopefully as long as things uh, keep getting better I think we'll be all right with that uh, I'm gonna call it a night and I will see you tomorrow and hopefully there'll be a bit more going on Good morning everybody it's Thursday morning and I'm ready to start work uh, just waiting for time gonna go out for a walk later go down to my mum's hopefully it won't rain if it rains I'll drive down I guess might as well give a car a little run and take Jen with me yeah, I haven't read much this week, so I've not got a lot to say in my reading weekly wrap-up thing. Um, I might try and do some reading tonight. Obviously tonight I'll also be f filming first of the Magical Jungle colouring chat, which will be fun. And I do want to do some eBay photos, but it won't be a huge amount, but I will do some. I think we're quizzing tomorrow night, that's always fun, and we're quizzing on Saturday as well. So I think we're doing music tomorrow and general knowledge on Saturday. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start work, and I will see you when I finished. Here you are Jennifer, are you going to eat that now? Uh, yeah. Mummy. So Jennifer didn't want to eat today. So I thought if we came down here and Grandad had something, she'd want to eat it. And lo and behold, she is. She is. But the dog won't brush me here. Yeah, it's Who's funny. That? Who's that? Got your jumper. Can you get water, okay. <laughs> Down at Nana and Granddad's now, and uh, as you can see, they're getting water so she can water the mud. And I said she ate her food with him, which is good. So, in the back garden, they were putting the soil into the pot. 
She decided she wants to water something. Uh oh. Wet. You're not wet. Go on then. What are you going to water, Jen? You're going to water the, 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 the bird bath? All right, that's fine. You can water the bird bath. Round that empty it and put some in. Hang on. Oh. A minute. Huh? This bloody top's harder to get off. Huh? There we go. Uh, let me take all that out there. Can you tip it out? There we go, now you fill it up. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Mind yourself. You're getting wet, Jen. Ooh, the plane up there. Get one in there, that's right. Bubbles in there, yeah? You're making bubbles, aren't you? Uh -oh. Yeah, nearly full. Oh, the birds would be happy now with their fresh water, Jennifer. Huh? Yeah. Oh, some more. Whee! No uh -huh. wet. No wet, I know. You can get some more. No, she don't. She's got to have her own way. It's full up now. Oh, it's wet. It's all wet. Yeah. What are you going to water now? This one. You're watering your bean out, if you like. Hmm? Go down there. That's a green out, isn't it? Someone's about to be playing each other way. Oh, oh, don't go down there. They hurt. They hurt, don't they? Ow. Careful step. Oh, no. 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 Oh, I think the birds are drowned now. All done. No more. No more. See Lily in Daddy's garden. Apples on the tree. And the marigolds. Oh yeah, we got apples on the tree. Loads of them. Yeah, I can see there's loads. And she's off. Beautiful today. Nice bit of breeze at the moment. But uh, as you see, Jennifer's having a good run. And they're down.
Got a thing about that lilac stuff, isn't she? <laughs> There's tons of it around here, mind. It's very warm out here today, it's lovely. Just waiting for my dad and Jen to come up the hill. I sat down on the bench. As soon as she gets here, she'll sit down um, for a minute and then she'll get up pretty much straight away. I can hear them under the bridge as it echoes and they like to yell train things. It's nice that she's perfectly safe with him and he looks after her. And they have such a lot of fun together. So I'm just having a little rest while I wait for them. Train going over. I can just see the top of Daddy's head. And I can hear you yelling for mummy. Here she comes. Oh, her little legs are so sweet when she's running. Hey, Jen Jen. You coming? It's my baby. Jennifer. Daddy. It's Daddy over there. Time for dinner. Steak today in the garden because it's nice day. Beautiful sky, a bit cloudy, but nice. Thursday night, guys, and Jennifer's in bed. Paul is watching something to do with football on the TV. Worst football moments, something funniest football moments, something like that. I don't know. And I've come up to do my Karen chat for Friday night. This battery's going, so I'm gonna have to change it in the morning. Um, we're going to be doing. From Magical Jungle. Sorry about that, the battery died, so just put a fresh battery in. And I'm going to be using the Arteza Twine Markers and the Sakura Jelly Rolls, because why not? I've not used them in a book before on camera. I'm not going to have run downstairs to get a spare battery. That's pretty much going to be it for tonight, because I'm going to do this, a couple of flip throughs, and then I'm probably going to watch TV in colour if I've still got a bit of time left. Either that I'm going to read, because um, I haven't got anything ready. Well, I've only finished one book this week, so I need to try and uh, crack on with a couple. I might put the TV on anyway in the background. That's it for tonight. Friday tomorrow, last day of the week. Fish and chip Friday tomorrow. Yeah, I love it. Plan on going to Roth again on Saturday, because just to give the car a good run out and make sure that the battery stays charged. So it's going to be a nice drive to Roth. And we'll park on one of the hills and have an ice cream and we'll have a wander around the park this time. Rather than go to the lake, we'll actually go into the park and have a look at that. I haven't been there for a while into the park. The rose gardens and everything usually really nice, so as long as the weather stays good. But I still have to run the car out anyway. That's it for Thursday. A little bit more done today. I have listed three things on eBay. I've actually had four sales now and they're all packed up ready, literally as I was leaving the shed and I'd just locked the sheds and I'd picked my phone up to go down to the house and I would say I'll come through so I thought I might as well while I'm up here get it so I went back into the shed and pulled that order too. Right I'm gonna crack on and I'll see you in the morning. Hi guys it's Thursday afternoon and I've got to be honest I haven't vlogged at all today because well nothing's happened. I'm upstairs because I came up for a lie down because I had a headache because Jennifer kept flinging herself at me and I put her down. She's, 
and, and she was fine, she was quiet. Um, and I'm just going downstairs now because we're going to give her a bath before tea because she's filthy, she's covered in ink and all sorts of rubbish. And then it's Fish and Chip Friday, yay! And of course quiz night. So I'm looking forward to that. So you'll be around with me for a bit this evening. So I'm going to go downstairs and uh, have a drink because I'm really thirsty. So my headache's gone now, which is good. So let's crack on and get on with the rest of the day. Hey, it's mommy. baby. Mommy, you say baby. hello? Oh. It's Friday tea time. So it's fish chip Friday. Normally we eat this outside if we can, but it's gone a bit dark grey and it's spotting with rain. So we're going to sit and watch TV. Nanny. I'm going to see Peppy Boy and Peppy Nana. Say you, baby. Baby, nanny. Nanny, baby. Right. And mommy, baby. Mummy and baby, yes. Have some lunch, dinner, daddy, shall we? Baby. Daddy's over. Well, Jennifer's in bed, and Peppy's asleep. 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 Well, we'll be probably on our fourth beer by the time it starts at this rate. Paul's laughing. But uh, yeah, this one is a music quiz. 70s, 80s, 90s and noughties. Doesn't it? That's right, isn't it? 70s, yeah. 80s, 90s and noughties. So we'll let you know how we're going in between rounds. It, this could be really good fun or a complete and utter disaster. End of round one and we're 25 out of 52. So that's not too bad. I'm not going to stop for long because obviously you can hear the cure in the background. Yeah, we're having a good laugh, we're having a good drink, and um, I'll see you after round two. End of round two, and we've gone down to 29th, but we're not at the bottom, and that's all that matters. And we did get one of the fastest questions, well, the fastest answers, and it was, um, name the song, and it was Who Listens to the Power of Love, and I just knew it was going to be that, because as soon as he, he said it, I love this song, and it's from one of my favourite movies, and I thought, right, it's going to be the Power of Love from Huey Lewis, so I was straight in there, fastest which hasn't happened the last couple of quizzes so very very pleased with that 29 is okay you know we're not at the bottom we are seventh, it's go seventh we're not even second from the bottom like we've been before so, but i get so hot and bothered doing this i'm gonna have to have a shower before i go to bed after this so anyway, that's where we are now i'll check back in after because they're gonna start playing the music now so the quiz is over we made 30th out of 51 to do something like that so that's okay we, we enjoyed that it's fun i'm gonna go and have a shower now because i'm so hot he's gonna do a question and answer thing which is bizarre behind me so i might put a bit of music on so i'm gonna have a nice shower and then uh, i'm going off to bed we're doing another quiz tomorrow so you can join us for that it's general knowledge tomorrow night that's always good fun i can tell you i like the movie one but paul's not really big on movies so he doesn't really like the movie quiz anyway I will see you in the morning. Bye. So it's Saturday and we're at Roth again. We're at the lake. As you can see. It's not so nice today. It's quite cloudy so it's not as busy. So we're... Uh... Hello darling. We're going to go and have a look at the flower gardens, aren't we? It's one of the nice bits of the area, isn't it, with the water? You like it, Jen? Thought so. Yeah. It's all the water. It's a little waterfall. Yeah. The rose gardens. <laughs> and you can walk across the gardens. So you can go and have a look at them. There's all different coloured roses. It's really pretty. Um, I'll show you some of these nice roses. Alright, I'm just changing the camera. Nice pink ones up here, some yellow ones there, some purple ones. Yeah. What do you think of the flowers, Jen? Me. Nice, isn't they? Nice. More nice. More nice, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
there's more of this. We're going to get the purple ones. Yeah. It's a really nice walk around the rose, rose gardens, isn't it? Not, not all of them out because it's quite late. But still quite a few blooming. Ah, purple. Purple, oh, that's purple. right. Well done, Jennifer. Oh, We're going to have a look at the purple ones now. You like purple, don't you? She likes purple. Oh, these are pretty, aren't they? Should we have a look at them? Yeah. And they go on. Oh, can you smell them? Oh, it's beautiful. Go on for miles. I'll show you some more in a bit. Nice ones here, still out. Uh, superstar. I'll hold your hands again in a minute. There we go. There's Jennifer. Jennifer's loving it, aren't you, darling? Yeah? Jennifer says these ones are nice. They're a nice colour. No, off the flower beds. No. Very pretty. Simple. Come on, sweetheart. So there's the Roth Conservatory. Um, obviously, it is closed for obvious reasons, but normally, in normal circumstances, you can go inside and explore, and it's brilliant being there a couple of times, and they have fish and turtles and all sorts of other things so when it's open again and things are a bit back to normal we'll take Jennifer in there for an explore so she can see the little turtles hmm? all right hang on then let me put this away that's a big that's a sculpture of a fly darling or a bee on a no. bee on a flower like yeah that's good isn't it Time for the obligatory ice cream. Isn't it right, Paul? Yeah. Oh. Jennifer loves the ice cream. Back at the lake now. That's what I mean by these coats. So the ice cream has been devoured and very nice it was too. You've got to have an ice cream, haven't you, Paul? Oh, it's just quite nice to sit here, look at the um, Scott Memorial. Over there. Across the lake, all the birds. People enjoying themselves and being careful and having fun. It's a very nice place. One day we will go for a walk around the entire lake, but it's quite far for somebody as little as Jen. Um, I don't think she'd make it all the way round, so maybe we'll have to bring the pushchair down and try it, eh, Paul? You get to the other end and it's a bit stinky, isn't it? Because well, you've got the wild gardens wild at the garlic. end because it's full of wild garlic. So it's not yeah. like it's a bad smell, it just smells of garlic. <laughs> Yeah. Very, very strong smell, but it's lovely at the other end. There's a little island, isn't there? Where the swans nest, and uh, you've got the willow trees. Um, it's a really nice walk. So, we'll bring the pushchair maybe next week and uh, go for a walk around the lake. And if she gets tired, she can go in the pushchair. So, we might do that. Are you ready? Back home now, sitting out in the garden. Um, just had some lunch. We were going to go to McDonald's, but. Uh, Jennifer was uh, whimpering and crying in the car, so we think she was feeling a bit car sick. So we uh, came straight home and just made some lunch. Um, she had some crumpets with her daddy, with cheese on them. And I'm sitting out in the garden and she's supposed to be coming out, but whether or not she will, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to get her to run off some energy because she's just running around the living room. I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> oh dear, it's all this fresh air. Excuse me, but I've got some colouring pencils and a pad, a book out here, so I'm going to do a bit of colouring while uh, we're out here playing. It might rain, it's a bit grey. Um, we'll see what happens, we we'll have a little sleep before we're out at the quiz tonight and before dinner, but depends on um, little Jennifer as she comes now. Bless her. Right, well we've had tea, we've had it early today because we're quizzing later. I'm cleaning this big stack of singles I've got, I don't know what I was doing, maybe about 50 or so I guess. Got my cleaning machine out and uh, these are such great tracks as, uh, who's this? This is Shirley Bassey, as long as he needs me and Val Dudekern and 
Frank Sinatra there, My Way, and The Searchers, Needles and Pins. Uh, so these are quite old, some old songs. There's some newer stuff at the bottom. There's some uh, Aha, I believe, and I don't know what that is, something. So going to do these, do them 10 at a time, dry them. If they need a new sleeve, they go into a new sleeve. Otherwise, they just go back into their original one, if it is their original one. Sometimes they're a bit mixed up, but uh, take them out of any of these cardboard ones i don't like the cardboard ones but uh, yeah i'm gonna crack on with that oh it sounds like it's um in the night garden you like in the night garden so i'm gonna crack on with these for a bit so it's evening now jennifer's in bed and we are doing the general knowledge quiz it's we've just done the first round and we thought we were doing awful because they're really hard questions and we thought we'd only got about like three or four right <laughs> there's over 60 people and we're at 28, so we're actually very, very surprised. We're as high on the leaderboard as we are because there was this, this one team getting loaded them fastest, but they're below us long way. So it's really weird the way this scores, but not gonna complain because we started thinking, are we in the right quiz? Because, you know, where are we? We're at like 26th place rather, and we're doing all right. You know, I mean, we got 58 points and at uh, number 10, 10th place have got about 70 so they're not that far ahead really so let's hope the second round goes better for us terrible round we must have moved down so we're going to wait and see now and see what's going on if he puts the scores up there they're not playing dr zing because he's still at naught okay 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 Okay. Top forty. Top forty. Thirty sixth we're at. With hundred and fourteen points at the moment. That was terrible round and they had all sorts of technical issues as well, so it was a bit of a disaster, but never mind. We'll see what happens in round three. Round three has not been good, but hey, let's see where we are now on the board. We're looking, we're not at the bottom, because the bottom people aren't even playing. Okay, okay, we're, 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 we're still up there, we're still in the top 50 by the look of it. Yeah, we're above Quizzy Chicks. 40th. Oh, we're at 40th, so we're dropping, but you never know, round four might be better, it might be worse. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the bathroom and get myself another drink. I'm drinking Copperberg, um, what's it called? Mixed fruit? Yum. And uh, eating sort of vinegar things. Um, be back in a minute. Terrible round, they were really hard and they were doing evil mode, so it was like, if you got it wrong, you lost 12 points. We got one wrong, but then we the ones we answered were all right after that, so that's fine. But oh my god, so somebody threw a Mardi in the middle and dropped out, didn't they? Because they didn't like the way that a question was phrased or something. But it is what it is. It was still fun, it's worth doing. They're always a good laugh. So let's have a look. Scoreboard's coming. Let's see where we are while we're not last. Okay, top 50. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we beat the Welsh Wallies, whoever they are. Um, Bunch of Wallies ahead of them. Mm -hmm. Let's get clinical. Panic at the Tesco. Quizzy Rascals we beat. And the Quizzy Chips. 36. 36. That's not too bad. It was really hard, but very much fun. <laughs> they might be doing a bonus round, so I'll let you know if that's a question. Because they had a bit of a mix up in the, in the beginning and some Mardis going on. It's been a bit of a ooh, grumps tonight. But um, if they're doing a bonus, I'll let you know what happens at the end. So he did do an, a bonus round, which was music. Um, we did it all right. There were some really hard ones, some really easy ones. But let's have a look and see where we finished. So, uh oh, yeah, there were 60 people doing it. <laughs> Some of them have got minus points because it was like an evil story where it was like minus something like 12 points, or was it? Or 10 points or something? 10 points. So, we're just going to have a look and see where we were. Okay, fourth place is I get locked down, I get up again on once. So, we finished on 13th, which is quite good for us. 
Yeah. It was good fun. Paul's tamping now. He's gone for a wee, I think, actually. So that is the end of the quizzing for the weekend. Enjoyed that. We'll be back next Saturday with another, not hopefully, with another general knowledge quiz. Plan on booking off a Friday at some point so we can do the Thursday night movie quiz. I haven't really read this. And, um, yeah, be a laugh. They are fun. That was a good fun, that little extra bout bonus round. We enjoyed that. We got a few of them right. Few issues at the start and we like to run. Um, yep, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm going to call it a night, so I'm going to go and listen to the last side of the Judy Garland album I'm listening to before I head off to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Sunday. Sunday, two loads of washing on the line. I'm a bit blurry for some reason, it's not focusing. Hello. That's bad. Um, yeah, it's very nice, it's warm, it's hot, so that's better. Going to go shopping now and get that done. Then later on, we'll walk down to Nana and Granddad's and we might go up the canal. Maybe have a drink. I'm ready. Let's see how it goes. You ready, Jen? Come here. Say hello to everybody. Oh. <laughs> so we're at Nanny and Grandad's, and Jennifer's got a bubble wand. That's better. I think it was in there. I think I saw them in the door. Ooh! Don't hit that Grandad with it. Yeah, look that. Look that. That's right. Oh, up in the air. You go too hard. Yeah, you too. Let Granddad have a go. Yeah, let Granddad make some bubbles. Like that. Oh, a big one. He's going over man. Woo, it got me. Another one, another one. It's going to get me, it's going to get me. Money, What? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. He's going around there. Oh, up here. Mummy. Yeah, you got them well done. Right, One more. Like that. Not too hard. Not too hard. No, not so fast. You do it too hard, baby. Let me do it again. There you go. You hold it. No, that hand. No, that hand. Hold it that hand if you like. Just weave it like that. Not too fast. Uh -oh. There you go. <laughs> So we've come up to the Prince of Wales up on the canal for our first drink in a pub. You'll have to bring a glass up, you will, Dad. They're a bit flimsy. For our first post lockdown drink, it's really nice. Got a good setup here. They've been very sensible, looking after everybody. Even Jennifer's got her drink. I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, that's mummy's and that's daddy's, yeah. Babies, Babies, Babies yeah. yeah. Good girl, you drink that up because it's warm today. Try this one for my second drink, recordling Swedish cider, mango and raspberry. Sounds good to me, as you know, I am a big mango fan. Paul and dad are still on the thatches. And Jennifer's still drinking her orange squash thing. <laughs> Beautiful day, nice to be out. Some sort of sem resemblance to some sort of normality. It's not 100% normal, of course. But it's not far off. It's, it's just nice to be out and about, having a drink. Supporting local business, isn't that right, Dad? Trying to support myself now, it? <laughs> <laughs> supporting Jason at the Prince of Wales. It's a great pub if you're ever in the area. I re fully recommend the Prince of Wales. Saying before my dad so rudely interrupted, Prince of Wales in Risca on the canal is a beautiful place for a drink. Fully recommend it. Always have done. Always loved coming up here. It's a great pub. Staff are really friendly. It's a great place for a pint, a drink, and they do food in normal circumstances, but obviously not at the moment. Um, and then take a nice walk along the canal. What we usually do is have a walk on the canal and then stop for a drink, oh or even have one drink when we first go on a walk and have a second drink on the way back, because that's how we roll. So I'm gonna try my new um, mango and raspberry recordly, and I'll let you know what I think of it a bit later. We used to have a cave under the east of the pub, under the river. Yeah. Jen, where are you it going? All, it was all smugglers. They used to do a lot of mining in this years ago. It was un, under the river, and it went to another pub the other side, and, when he was reading cool. by the customs, drink. when he was into getting customs, they would uh, Do another drink. go from one pub under the river into the other pub. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's how they used to do it. Get you another one, baby. In there. It was always cold in there, so there was beer inside. It was always cold. It was always cold in the cellar. Yeah. There was loads of them in the Yeah. At the pub. It's really nice. Love this weather. Jennifer's been up on the canal having a look at the ducks, haven't you? Granddad's knackered. Granddad's knackered. Uh, Nanny hasn't phoned yet, so you're all right. Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> New drink, never drink. So we're on our third now. Why not? It's a beautiful day. I'll go and do tea afterwards. We'll sit out in the garden and eat that and just chill. Dinner. Well, the dinner's on, isn't it? So, and then um, I've got to make my weekly wrap up video of what I've watched, listened to, and read. Um, yeah, that won't take me long. Just got to put some makeup on. It's pretty. Yeah, it's just really nice to be outside in a pub garden, having a beer, like a normal person in normal-ish circumstances and they've, they've done a great job keeping it everyone's up. Just been used their loos, the loos are all open. One way system, it's really good. Nice and safe, hand sanitizer on the way in and out. No problem at all. Gotta give it some A plus for the Prince Wales and Jason and his team. Back from the pub now and I'm sitting in the garden. I'm about to eat my tea. I'm just waiting for Paul to come up with his and Jennifer's because he has cheese. I don't like cheese. So he puts Billy Great's cheese on there. It's a chilli dish, so which is fair enough. I've got two loads of washing on the line to pull in. Here's Jennifer. Hi, Say hello. Oh. Hey, good girl. You found another screw of you. Well done, kid. Mummy, put it out of the way. Are you going to come up on your chair? Okay. Yeah, Daddy's bringing okay. you dinner now. So, yeah, a nice chilly dinner, and I'll see you after. Hi, guys. It's Sunday night. Jennifer's in bed. She's absolutely shattered. We've had tea, obviously, and put her to bed. I've just finished uh, filming the weekly wrap up reading, listening, watching video, which I'm going to go and edit together now and put it up on the channel. Um, I'm going to call it quits. I might do a bit of video in tonight. I might video uh, a couple of flip throughs. I've got a couple of books that need flip through in uh, to be filmed. Um, and there's a few other bits and pieces I might do. I might not, I might leave it till tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this week. It's been a good week. I mean, I really enjoyed getting out and having a drink at the Prince Wales. It's just nice to be able to get out and go somewhere a bit different, um, to, to just see something and see other people out, having a good time, but being responsible, being very careful. And they were, and to be fair, they were brilliant. Um, the toilets were open in the pub. I went out, I went to the loo. You go in one way, there's a hand sanitizer on your way in. You go to the bathroom, wash your hands, come out. There's another hand sanitizer on the way out. It's absolutely brilliant. They've, they're doing a fantastic job. That's all I've got to say about that. Um, I really enjoyed it. I had a lovely time. It was nice to get out and have a beer. So I'm going to call it quits for this weekly vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. And of course, I will see you again at the end of next week, the beginning of the week after, with the next weekly vlog. Who knows what's going to happen? Because we just don't know. It's every, Anything could happen in the next 24 hours. I don't know. In the next five minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.